Hello Washington, this is Ray Gilbride with WeSpeak.com. Today's update, we have a lot of stuff to cover, but one of the biggest questions we're here to answer is all these people are asking, why do these shelter-in-place laws continue on? Why do some people work and some people don't? And why can it just go on and, and the governor can renew it seemingly without any effort? When the Constant, Washington State Constitution says he needs to have stuff signed by the leaders of legislature after 30 days. Why is, is all this still going on? Well, number one is he didn't enact all this on day one. He The 30 days starts on the different times he enacted the laws. And the second thing is many of the people in Washington are feeling the effects of many people who didn't vote. And the reason why is if you didn't vote, you get what you're stuck with. You get representatives who feel and vote different than you would like. And as a result, over the last year, through many party line, Democratic party line votes, the governor was given many, many extra powers in cases of emergency, which he's enacting now. One of them is the Prohibition Authority. With the Prohibition Authority, he does not require legislative approval to expand certain things, and that's what he's operating on. It's a fine balance line, but that's, as it turns out, what he's been doing. <clears throat> The statute authorizes the governor to act in emergencies to give him uh, two broad general abilities and each with different time limits. Okay, The first is to prohibit certain conduct like gathering or going out to the public, things like that. The second one is to waive and suspend statutes and regulations necessary to deal with the emergency uh, subsection 2 of the statute. Now, I'm not going to go in all this, but basically, yeah, he can keep things going. He doesn't need necessarily the approval of Senate and the House to, to keep things going. And the reason why is because enough people didn't vote that the ones who did picked the, re the representatives, and the representatives made laws that gave him the power. If you want to change this, people, all across America, this message is going out to everybody. If you want to change this, if you want to fix our country, if you want to make sure things go on the right track, come November you need to be registered and you need to vote. And don't just go off name recognition. Don't say, well, I don't know who to vote for. This name sounds good. I'll vote for him. That's stupid. Research. We live in a republic. And it's our responsibility to do the research to find out what people stand for. Not what they're standing for now, but how do they live? What's their experience? What have they done? Okay? Find people of character and back them. Find the people who are running as representatives in your area and back them. Make sure they have the money to get in the office to do the campaign properly. Okay. So as we're going through a lot of this stuff, all these pages are the orders that the governor, businesses that can and can't work, when they started, when they stopped, and I'm not going to go through them all, but some of them, such as the stay at home, stay home, stay safe, right? That was started on 323 and the duration was 4-6 but he was able to go back in and change that and now it goes to 5-4 and can he change it again? Yeah! But rumor has it through the uh, other things that are working that many things like construction he's got the message maybe and he's lighting up on that and there's a couple other industries that may be able to go back to work according to him however we do live in a in a country where people get upset and they're mad because when their rights are taken away they fight back they get a little mad. So today, kind of good news here, I was able to witness, it'll be a spike interview here, the Franklin County Commissioner's Office, after so many people talked about losing businesses and how many of the businesses are losing will never come back, and the devastation this is causing, they took a vote and Franklin County is going back to work. And the Franklin County Sheriff Department is not going to honor Governor Inslee's stuff because it's unconstitutional. They're going back to work so that people can save their homes. Okay, so let's take a look at this meeting so you can see it yourself. Um, hopefully uh, we can get this open back up to the county for people to go to work. Um, if we can work on maybe something like that, because I got workers that are suffering. They need to get back to work. We got ones that, lots of them, that never ever got any, any unemployment. And we have a lot of businesses that are out that can't even draw unemployment and they can't, they don't fit the criteria that they can get any funds from the government anyway. So every one of them businesses are suffering and they're gonna close and they'll never reopen. So we really, really need to get them back to work and I'd say as soon as possible. With respect to authority, if you look at RCW 4643, 06220, 
And if you'll permit me, it's short, but I'll read it. This is the authority that limits the governor's authority to create and extend an executive order like the one he's used to shut down our county. This is uh, subparagraph four. No order or orders concerning waiver or suspension of statutory obligations or limitations under subsection two of this section may continue for longer than 30 days unless extended by the legislature through concurrent resolution. That hasn't happened. If the legislature's not in session, the waiver or suspension of statutory obligations or limitations may be extended in writing by the leadership of the Senate and the House of Representatives until the legislature can extend the waiver or suspension by concurrent resolution. To my knowledge, that hasn't happened either. So by my reading, this is day 90. The governor's authority ended at day 30. As far as I'm concerned, the county is open, and I'd encourage people within the law and within the parameters of their own safety. We're adults. We can make these decisions to behave accordingly. That's what I'm doing. Thanks. So, Mr. Chairman, with that, I'd like to make a motion, and I'd like this on the record, please. I move that Franklin County, in recognition of the governor's stay-at-home emergency proclamation that is now deemed unconstitutional, we support the reopening for all builders and small businesses that want to work. Second. And, Mr. Chairman, if I may, um, article out there today that uh, reopen Seattle Park's farmer's market give hint of normalcy amid shutdown. So we have King County opening up parks and farmer's markets. So I think we've got a motion in a second. I think we should vote it and vote it in. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, there you go. That's people working a constitution, voting, that's standing up for a republic and making decisions. And that's leadership. Small town of Linden, Washington started that. And then we found out later today that Tacoma, Washington as well, lifted the ban on residential construction. And they're bucking the system and going back to work. And we'll get a little bit more of that and verify all that tomorrow. But for now, I just wanted to throw this out there. As long as the governor can keep this in a state of emergency, he has the power to do almost anything he wants to do. Short of a major uprising revolution, he can stay and just do anything he wants. And that's why, if you remember yesterday's story, Senator Keith Wagoner from the 39th Legislative District was on and talked about that's why he wants to keep it into an emergency situation. Because as long as it's an emergency situation, he has the ability to do this. That's why he's looking at the models and not the facts. The facts from his own Washington State Department of Health where it has all the facts of the COVID-19, who's had it, who's died, where we're at. And if you look at all the other countries around the world who didn't do all this, they're doing just fine. Yes, they had it. Yes, some people died. And that's sad. We, 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 we do not want people to die. The same type, we don't want to destroy our country because everybody got sold a bill of goods and got scared. So let's just use our wisdom. Let's do our research. And let's pray for the families that are affected, but let's put our country back together. Let's put our work back together in the state, and let's, let's get this thing behind us. So from Ray at WeSpeak.com, thank you. Have a good day, and be kind to the ones around you.